What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this career mode vote. This is going to be for the final career mode before we head into FIFA 18. I always promise you guys a Bundesliga career mode and we haven't done one yet. So here is your choices. There's going to be two teams to choose from in today's episode guys from the thumbnail. You can probably tell um, which of the two those are. Um, I'm going to show you them both team wise. I'm going to show you both their squads. Then we're going to look at their funds and stuff once we go into a career mode. And then I'm going to explain a couple of stuff regarding it as well. So the first team here that you guys have to choose from is Schalke. Now, Schalke themselves are in the Europa League. So it does mean if we do go with Schalke, guys, from the first season, we will have European football because Schalke do feature in the Europa League in season one. Their team then looks like this. So that is their starting 11. They've got, of course, a nice mix of different players here and there. A few guys who I'm actually very interested in, you know, the likes of Goretzka. I'm a big fan of this guy. I think he's very, very good. Six foot two, he's only 21 as well. But the beauty about Schalke is they have quite a young team as well. Because if we take a look, that is their starting 11, of course. They've got, a, I guess this is a makeshift team because of a few injuries and stuff in real life. But they've also got Chief Promoting, Bentaleb, Stambouli, and these guys in here. Obviously a very good CD, uh, centre-back in Howardes as well. Alongside Farman, a good keeper in between the sticks. Nastasic, a well at centre-back. Sayed Kolasnanic, I don't even know how you pronounce it, guys. Just joined Arsenal, of course, in real life. But then, if we move down to the bench, they've actually got a great choice and selection. Connor Plianka, I am a massive, massive fan of this guy. I loved him on Ultimate Team, and he is a beast. They've also got Klaajan Huntala, a proven goal scorer, if you will, 33 years old. Maximilian Meyer, who featured in our Road to Glory save. Uh, and, and Geis as well, somebody who I've picked up before. He's very, very good. On top of that, if we move further down, guys, we can take a look at some other players. They've also got Shop as well, somebody I've used quite a few times as well. He's 22 years of age. And Bolo, who is a fan favourite with a lot of you guys out there, only 19 years old. Four-star, four-star on this guy, absolute beast. Naldo as well, although he's 34 at this stage. And then a few other guys as we move down. So, Baba Ryman, of course, online from Chelsea, on top of that as well. So, a decent left back there. But, all in all, guys, for the first team to choose from, Schalke would not be a bad idea. They've got quite a young squad that can, of course grow up to be beastly players for us. A few older, you know, experienced players in there. Of course, Naba Bentaleb as well from Tottenham, only 21 years of age. So it should be, or it could be, quite an interesting one, this one. I also like the Schalke kits a lot. The blue and the white kit, it looks very, very good. I'm a fan of their kit. So that's team one. I'll show you the next squad, which is Wolfsburg, in just a moment, guys, and then we'll check out their funding. Also, please note, this one will be replacing the Road to Glory career mode, which, of course, is coming to an end. There's just one more episode of that, and that is to look through the series, choose my favorite parts of it, show it to you guys, and then, of course, this one will replace that one there. So we'll still have the My Player career mode, Football Manager, um, the Las Palmas one, and then this one on top of it as well. So... Yeah, that's Team 1. We'll take a look now at Team's 2 squad before we look at their finances. All right, guys. So we are in for Team number 2, and that is going to be Wolfsburg. I don't know what it is about Wolfsburg. I've always been a fan. I kind of, if I was going to go with the Bundesliga career mode in the past, and I didn't want to do Dortmund, Dortmund were kind of my German team, if you will, before. Um, they still are kind of in that, in that aspect of it because I'm a big fan of um, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang up front. And I do kind of like, you know, the whole kind of set of the Dortmund have got. But in terms of a, a team to go with for a career mode, it was always going to be Wolfsburg. I don't know why. Maybe it's their green kit. But as you can see, from their starting 11, it does need a little bit of work. They've got a decent squad. Don't get me wrong. I do think their squad is very good. But it does need a little bit of work. So they've got Mario Gomez up front. Of course, he is 31 now. So he's going to start decreasing. But in terms of a goal scorer, not too bad. And then they've got somewhat of a, an interesting attack. I mean, these guys aren't terrible, but there is a lot to improve on here. Mali's pretty good. Arnold's okay. And Divadi there, or uh, did Avi. He's okay as well. But the bit that you guys are probably most interested in is this man, Richie Bazoa. Uh, he was on the Road to Glory career mode as well. So a lot of these guys featuring already on the Road to Glory career mode. He's only 19. So a very, very solid choice for the future. Luis Gustavo as well. He's a solid defensive midfield option. I really am a massive fan of him. They also have a pretty decent bench with the form of Entep there. Solid choice, four-star, four-star. They've also got Rodriguez, of course, the left-back Ricardo Rodriguez for some reason. He's at centre-back on this one. Maybe they've been playing him there, but I certainly wouldn't be using him there at, at, at centre-back. It would be a left-back for me, so yeah, that would be that one. In terms of the goalkeeping options, though, they probably need a new one. Only 78-rated Castellez or 79-rated Benaglio to choose from, so... In terms of their like reserves and stuff for the young players, they don't really have as much as Schalke do. But what they do have is some very, very solid foundations to build on. So if you kind of put Entep into the team, let's do this, guys. I'll show you. 
if we put this like that and we put Entep there and we put uh, maybe we keep, I guess we keep Vasovkowski there. We'd also put him at left back. I put him in the wrong place. Um, so he'd go at left back, Ricardo Rodriguez. In terms of the goalkeeping, we'd have probably Benaglio. And then in centre-back roles, they would need to improve on. Because, I mean, we could play Gustavo there, but I don't want to be doing that. So they definitely need to improve, and it will take a little bit of improvement. But that potentially could be what the starting eleven looks like here at Wolfsburg. So that's the Wolfsburg squad then. We'll move into their finances and stuff to show you guys in just a second. All right, so to show you guys their finances, we'll do Wolfsburg first, and then we'll check out the other one, which will be Schalke, of course. My bad. I didn't mean to come out of that one. Let me go back. There we go. So, as you can see, this is the Wolfsburg board expectations and stuff. I mean, honestly, guys, of course, as I said to you earlier, Schalke do have European football. They have the Europa League. Wolfsburg do not, unfortunately. They're not in the Europa League or the Champions League, so it would just be a predominant or primary focus on kind of the league aspect of it first in the first season and we wouldn't have to worry about any European Cups whereas Schalke of course do. So if you want to see European football, Schalke may be the way to go. If you want to see us focus on it and have to work our way into European football, then you know, Wolfsburg might be the way to go. But as I said, they've got some decent like, like funding. They've got £49 million in the transfer budget with 383000 club worth. Well, no, that's not thousand, that's million. What am I talking about? Um, I suppose... Uh, you know, it, kind of the transfer budget itself will be split as well between that and the wage. So they might have around about 38, 40 million pounds to spend. So, I mean, it could be an interesting one. We'll have a nice bit of funding in right at the start to be able to work on a team. But when you compare it, of course, to that of Bayern Munich, who is in many ways the team that we are looking to dethrone from this, they have 80 million pounds themselves. Even Dortmund have 42. So, the, you know, Bayern have a lot of money to spend, put it that way. So uh, Wolfsburg themselves, 49 million quid, not too bad. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a few decent players in if you guys choose Wolfsburg. In terms of their board expectations, there is none that are very high. There's two at high, which is domestic success and continental success. And then brand exposure and youth development are both at three, whereas financial is very, very low. Also, their kits down the bottom right, as you can tell, it's not that massive. But still, a green kit and a white kit. I like the green kit. Not so keen on the white one. But if you choose Wolfsburg, that will be that team that we're going to. So then the next team, guys, of course, is right next to them. And that is Schalke. Again, a four and a half star team. So they do need a little bit of work. However, Schalke have a little bit less in their transfer budget with only £30 million. But they do have a higher club worth. And also, I prefer their kits to that of Wolfsburg. The blue and the white look pretty good. I like their kits. I think it looks pretty damn sweet. Also, board expectations wise, domestic success is, very, is high. So is the continental success. Whereas they do have two critical board expectations which is brand exposure and youth development financial wise they only want they've only got three so i mean they have a little bit more expectations than that of wolfsburg but i suppose as well you would be going into an aspect of you are already playing europe league football and you do have a very good squad for the future so the youth development shouldn't be too hard to do so that is that one guys if you want me to go with schalke as i said european football cast your vote for that one or if you prefer us to go with wolfsburg there is the other one. And I've chosen these two teams, guys, because I feel like these are the two that need a little bit of work but are not, like, beastly already. I mean, there's a lot of other teams I could have gone with here. You know, I could have gone with the likes of maybe Leipzig. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to, but then at the same time, a few people kind of frowned upon it. Munch Gladbach as well was an option, but I chose against that because I didn't particularly like their team very much. Leverkusen were as well, but I suppose with them playing... You know, the football they do play, they've not got a bad team, have they? Let's face it. So, I mean, they wouldn't need that much work as well. So, it, yeah, I chose against Wolfsburg or Schalke. It's entirely up to you guys. There is a uh, straw poll in the description below. Please go ahead and vote on it if you would like to give your vote a chance. And make sure you choose which out of the two teams you would prefer us to go to. So, just to let you guys know, before we end this vote off, I said it will be replacing the Road to Glory career mode. Of course, that one is coming to an end. But... We have two choices. Schalke, European football, team for the future, a little bit less money, higher expectations. Or Wolfsburg, we've got to work on this, trying to get into Europe as well. We've got a little bit more money, less expectations, but the kits aren't as nice in my opinion. But of course, you might have a different opinion to me about the kits. However, their team does need a little bit of work. So... Let me know in the comments what you guys reckon we should do as well. Give me some transfer targets for you guys as well, whichever team we go to, because it will be pretty much the same transfer targets for both, barring maybe a couple of different positions, of course, if you've got players in there. But cast your vote as well. Do not let your vote go unheard of, guys. Make sure you vote in the straw poll, and I will see you all for the first episode of this very, very soon. It will be, as I say, our final FIFA 17 career mode before FIFA 18 drops. I cannot wait for FIFA 18. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But that's it from me. Make sure you cast your vote, guys. And I will see you all in the coming days with the first episode. Catch you all later. 
Adios.